Hi, Faith Martin here with the remedy to make the perfect hard-boiled egg. These are the perfect steps. I've had a perfect hard-boiled egg every time. You don't want to overcook it and have the green, you know, discoloration, and you just want enough of the flavor to come out in the egg to make it a good, moist, but well-cooked egg. Place your eggs in a fairly deep saucepan and fill them with cool water by one inch, you know, just about an inch over your egg. Turn your temperature to high and heat the egg. As soon as your eggs hit the boiling point, as you can see the water's boiling, as soon as it hits boiling, you want to remove it from the heat and put a cover on it. And what you'll want to do is while they set there under the cover, you'll want to have your timer ready to go and set to 14 minutes. After 14 minutes, take the eggs out, drain the hot water, and put them immediately into an ice bath of cold water in the sink and let them completely cool before you take them out. Dry them off and now you're ready to peel. Now nobody likes a hard to peel egg, right? <laughs> but the fresher ones are actually harder to peel than the little bit older eggs, I guess because of the membrane. But the best way is to start on the broad side of the egg and just tap it a little bit lightly with a spoon. To tell you the truth, I always just bash mine on the counter. But once you find the little air pocket where the uh, little indentation is right here, if you can see that, um, you grasp that. That's where the membrane is easier to kind of hold on to and then pull down from that. This is actually a very fresh egg and it's an organic egg. So you'd think it would be harder to peel, but it's actually coming off in pretty nice um, pieces, you know. So, and then don't forget that if you have a, you should use the side of your thumb and not your fingernail, but I get impatient. So, um, then remember if you peel the egg, you can only keep it for, you should probably use it, you know, immediately as soon as possible. But if you leave the shell on, they'll keep for like a week in the fridge. So, um, and I was going to show you if we just pull apart this egg, talk about it perfectly. I should cut it, show you better, but see, there's no green. It's perfectly yellow. It's going to be a good flavored egg and it's cooked all the way through.